have here in front of us, a 20 gallon water heater. Uh, it's made to take, I guess. And uh, so it has, you can see there's water, water in the pan. Look at this. Oops, somebody forgot their female adapter. Anyways, so uh, this is a uh, in my mom's building so we're uh, um, we don't have the water heater in front of us today we were going to replace it but uh, for some reason it didn't get ordered or whatever so uh, so we're just going to have the soldered on flex right now so what we're going to do we're going to cut it back here and here so they can get the and we're, we're going to pull the heater out today and I'm just going to leave MIPs on here um, so that you can just put uh, easily put flex on there so I might even I might even put a union right here so you can just take this because it's going to be hard for her to find a piece of flex that's long enough in case the cold's on the bottom, which it sometimes is. So, um, so we'll do that and we'll do something similar here for the TMP. I'm going to leave everything everything so she can just connect it with with wrenches, you know, uh, either whether it be flex or or pipe union or whatever, uh, just because uh, I know she doesn't she doesn't like she doesn't really like soldering, so I'm going to take care of that for her. Uh, more in a bit. Okay guys, we're uh, back over here in 320. We're draining this little water heater. Uh, this is the Sweet Bird demo. It's right next door to where we're replacing the water heater. Uh, that was a bear to get it down from its high perch there, but here it is. And they're letting that guy relieve itself. Matter of fact, we can take off. I'm going to take my little brass caps and go back over there. For our TNT drain, for our cold water, and then also the hot water isolation valve. Okay. Um, when I was I was explaining to Travis that even it's it's a mostly for it just so it's faster when you're replacing the water heater, so you don't have to wait for all the hot water out of your back. But if you have the cartridge that leaks by, if you're especially on those single handle ones, then you have cold water pressure on there and you're, you're screwed because you have an isolation valve. 